Now, your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. A very different picture over the coastal bend today than what we've seen over the last week. Yes, lots more cloud cover out there. There's an upper level disturbance moving southward through the region, and you can see the difference in temperature, in cloud cover, and in precipitation. Look at your live weather bug there in Corpus Christi, where you've been overspread by high clouds. It's still 94 degrees, but you've got calm winds, and it feels like 101 there. You do have fair skies over the western parts of the area, but there it is, a pretty good cluster of showers and thunderstorms uh, actually developing and moving southward through the northern portions of the coastal bend, moving southward through George West and down through Beeville. And uh, to the north of there, there isn't that much uh, left of precipitation. So this is our little opportunity for rain, and it will be a brief one as that system moves southward through the region. Meantime, in the Atlantic, Tropical Wave Invest 98L to the east and 97L to the west. Both have very good opportunities to become tropical cyclones the next couple of days. Now 97L is the one we'll be concerned with because it's moving quickly across the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. Ultimate landfall will be somewhere in the lower to middle Texas coast. Whether it develops or not, it's something we'll have to watch very carefully. Meantime, Hurricane Genevieve's in the Eastern Pacific, a dangerous Category 4 hurricane that will stay offshore. Now, look at temperatures, very different from what we've seen. Temperatures in the 90s, yes, but to the north of there, some rain cooling effect to the west, rain cooling effect. And the moisture, not as plentiful as far as humidity is concerned. Dew points from the 60s to lower middle 70s. So heat index values uh, are a little bit above 100 degrees in some areas but it's not that oppressive. That's good news. Now here's what it looks like in your high resolution forecast for precipitation. Some localities over an inch of rain during the next 6 to 12 hours, but after that everything shuts off and it's quiet because the upper level disturbance moves south out of the region. The rest of the week hot and dry, but here comes that disturbance. You can see it crossing the Yucatan by this weekend and moving towards the Gulf Coast. We'll see how this develops, but at the least, it will be providing us some very much needed rainfall by the early part of next week. Tonight, though, partly cloudy. The rain showers ending by sunset, 76 overnight, with a southeast wind at 6 to 9 miles an hour. And then tomorrow, another scorcher, 98 degrees, mostly sunny, in fact, mostly sunny and hot. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, on into Saturday, and then isolated showers return with a deepening tropical moisture Sunday and Monday, and then that disturbance moves into our area by Tuesday, scattered to perhaps numerous showers and thunderstorms, hopefully some much needed rain on your Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. So, it looks like dryness after today for the rest of the week. <laughs> 